Unlike a lot of other people, I don't think it's declining in the world. I think there's uh, two main ways in which that can be seen. The first is that the nation-state model has been applied right across the world. We no longer have empires, or we have perhaps the American empire, but it encounters a lot of national resistance. <laughs> and uh, so there are 192, 193 states calling themselves nation states. And that is a state uh, representing the people over a given sovereign territory. And that's the model. Now, half of those states are only nation states in name because the people are, are very diverse and the state has very little power. Uh, but that's what they aspire to. And so it, it is the model for political development right across the, across the world. It's also, it, it remains a real container of social life. Um, most of the economy takes place within the boundaries of nation states. The education system, the mass media, uh, the welfare provisions, the taxation system, uh, <laughs> It is, is bounded by the nation state. States lose some functions, they've clearly lost some economic functions in the face of transnational capitalism, but they gain other functions at the same time. For example, we have the whole realm of identity politics, we have environmental issues, and these are areas in which the state is expected to legislate. And though feminists, for example, may set up organizations which are global, they know full well that they can only achieve reforms state by state. And so the state is heavily involved in, in intruding in our private lives. I can no longer beat my wife or children. I can't smoke anywhere in California, really. <laughs> uh, and so states are acquiring new roles. And uh, some groups are demanding all the time uh, that they interfere more, so that, you know, uh, sexual identities is something that is still being struggled for the freedom of those. Legislation confirming that, giving welfare rights to couple, homosexual couples, that kind of thing, is still being struggled over. So I don't think that globalization is undermining the nation state. The nation state is a part, a fundamental part of globalization, alongside capitalism.